Hey guys, Jack here from the Life Fit Studio. I'm back to you again today with a short video all about hip flexors. So I'm gonna show you how to properly stretch your hip flexor and hopefully show you a few different uses of it as well or variations of it. You know what to do. If you like the video, share it around to all of your friends, even your best ones and maybe your enemies too. And find us on social media, give us a holler, give us some feedback, we'd love to hear from you. So let's get going. Okay, for the hip flexor stretches, a good thing to refer to is pelvic tilting, okay? So that is, imagine if I had a bar going straight through my hip here and coming out the other side, and like a pig in a spit, that area is just turning, yeah? So I wanna get control over that area, so to be able to tuck my tail in between my legs and to be able to stick my tail in the air. So if you need to go to specific videos to help you with that, Check out anything like cat camel or cat cow, those kind of videos, yeah? So, right, how I get into the position is I go down onto one knee. So my left heel here is directly under my right, or my left knee. It'd be weird if it was under my right knee, wouldn't it? My right knee is directly under my right hip. So I'm not in any form of a stretch already. Now, from here with that tilt, I wanna tuck my tail in between my legs. Okay, what that does, as my leg is coming up and my hip is coming down, as I tuck my tail in back here, it opens up the front of the hip flexor. So that is biasing my body towards an open hip flexor position. Okay, now from here, depending on what I'm feeling and where I'm feeling it, I should be feeling it along here, but I'm wanting somewhere between three and seven, maybe closer to that seven. So I can use my glute here on this side and give it a squeeze as an extra opener. A very good thing with that is it trains the brain to teach us that we want our glute to be our main extender. A lot of people who have very short hip flexors tend to do a lot of their extension through their hamstrings and their low back. Hence why we get a lot of reoccurring hamstring and low back issues. So if that's you, this will certainly help. So tucking the tail and then either pulsing or else squeezing and holding via that glute squeeze at the back. Now, I mentioned earlier we can lunge into it, but I don't want to lunge forward without engaging that tuck. If I do, I'm just compressing my low back, my hip flexor is still actually in a short position, and I might be getting some thigh stretch. So again, I want to tuck my tail in between my legs, and now if I feel I need to, if I need to find my new six, because I've done loads of hip flexor practicing, because we're all brilliant at that, now I can begin to move. Really good. If you want to open more, you can also bring your arm up and over. Now, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to show it to you now as a way that I often do, say, pre-running, as a running warm-up, or maybe after my first K, just to get more open through the hips, more glute active, and to get more onto my forefoot, is I'm in a very similar position, but I'm standing. So I'm going to drop my back knee a little bit to where it's almost under my hip, and again, I tuck my tail, and I squeeze my glute and I will just pulse here, five, six pulses, onto the next leg, tuck my tail, five, six pulses, he is squeezing my glute, yeah, and then I'm off running again. That opens your hip flexor and you're more on to the balls of your feet. Another really good exercise, back to our knees here, is joining those two. So when I done the first side, my foot nice and relaxed, but if I was to tuck my big toe in, now, it might help to have a prop or something to hold you up here, but I'm now going to try and join those two movements. So, I tuck my tail and see can I move my whole body vertically up and down. So, I'm learning to move and do some S and C so I can have a weight here if I want as well, but with my hip flexor in that position. Really quickly, just to show you another way it can be done is if you were to get anything like a step, three, four pillows, anything at all, because we spend so much time sitting in chairs and our hip flexor in a short position, to where when we lie back with our pelvis lifted in the air, so if I'm reading at night, I just spend a few minutes of my reading, or maybe a quarter of an hour for every hour in this position, and it's just giving my body more time in that position too. Another good way is on the edge of a table as well. So if you get your arse right to the edge of the table, lie back and leave the legs hang off, or pull one knee into your body as you do that, that'll get more here. So, 
I hope that helps. Um, again, remember that tail tuck is vitally important. If you're struggling with it in the variety, then go back to the basic tail tuck and master that first. So that's it for today. Thank you again for watching. I'm Jack at the Life Fit Studio. We would love to hear from you. So any feedback, comments or questions or any videos you'd like us to do, please hit us up. We're on Instagram and Facebook at Life Fit Studios or you can hit me up personally at Jack O'Halloran underscore IE. So till the next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong. Mind your fellow humans and go with love. Yours in health, Jack.